Well, students are also heading back to school on Monday in Prince George's County. As teachers get ready for the start of the year, they're also preparing for some obstacles. The county is short nearly 1,000 teachers and more than 100 bus drivers. Prince George's County Bureau Chief Tracy Wilkins spoke with the system CEO about how she's managing these challenges. Teachers are adding finishing touches to their classrooms and preparing to welcome students back to school with the knowledge that some of them will have larger classes and more work than usual due to a teacher shortage. We expect to still have on average about four and a half vacancies per school for this upcoming school year. So we're looking at about a thousand teachers short. We're looking at less than a thousand, um, but around 900 teachers short. The school system will supplement having fewer full-time teachers with substitutes, and some retired teachers are returning to the class. Some similar subjects may be combined into one classroom, and if a class gets too large. And we're going to try some innovative strategies at the secondary level where we could have a teacher who's in the classroom teaching, and down the hall, those students could be watching virtually with an assistant in that classroom as well. There is also a bus driver shortage of more than 160 drivers. That may mean delayed arrival times for many students as drivers double up on routes. We're grateful we had a recent job fair and a lot of people came out. Um, but we are also having to train them so that they can get their CDL license. All students will return for in-person learning this year and masks are once again required. We'll start with masks. I do believe that the numbers will go down. I've been monitoring it and we may probably go back to mask optional later on, but I will update every two weeks to our community. After protests and an impasse during contract negotiations, Prince George's County teachers and support staff are expecting pay increases in every area this year. Teachers who do extra work to help with the shortage will be compensated more than ever. And we will be able to pay teachers um, per diem per fee every time they take on additional classes. The CEO is saying that the hiring process for both teachers and bus drivers will continue throughout the school year. I'm Tracy Wilkins, News 4.